My name is Danko Moradovic. I play for the Fort Wayne Commons. I think I'm a late bloomer, yes, because uh, in minor hockey I was always playing double A and my final year double A I played for the Messiah Jets and I made the jump up to triple A in my draft year. And then when I wanted to make the jump from triple A to junior, I, I came to varsity hockey and I didn't really get my shot till maybe my third year of junior when I went to Vaughn. That's when I really started to come into my own and then my first couple of years of pro hockey, I think now being relied upon to shut down on other teams' top lines is, is really uh, a big achievement for me, I feel. Frank Carnevale, I think, did a lot for me in, in Vaughn. And now my pro coaches are, are awesome. Al Sims, he, he played 11 years in the NHL. He was Bobby Orr's defense partner. So I think he's done a lot for my game as well. First summer, I think it was in 2004, I heard about varsity. Uh, a big part of my game is my offense conditioning. So uh, my trainers played a really big role role for me. Seeing what what I've been put through the first couple of years, I've just stayed ever since. It's a really tough program and really pushes you to your limits. And I think with a small group of guys, you can push each other a lot better. And it's kind of, you kind of grow into a family atmosphere here. As a young guy coming to varsity hockey, uh, training with older players is really beneficial for me. Uh, the first couple of years, I, I kind of fell out of, out of my element. But I think that was, in the long run, that was good for me. My rookie season, I was most improved player which is a real honor. I came in as a bubble player, hoping just to make the roster. I was fortunate enough to have so have a player there. Uh, he worked out here, Justin Hodgman. He referred me, and uh, I got a tryout. And then I performed well at the tryout, and the coach thought enough of me to have me on the team. And I've been there for two years now. We won uh, a championship back to back. Uh, the city won it three times. I was part of. Uh, the second and third championship and that's just awesome. Fort Wayne is just a great hockey town. They love their hockey and you go there, it's like a smaller version of if you're a Leaf playing in Toronto. So it's just all a minor pro can ask for. Uh, the Schmogie Cup is uh, one of the three on three trophies we play here. I was fortunate enough to, to win it this year. It's definitely not an easy trophy to win. I think having this, uh, playing for this trophy, adds a little bit more competition to, to training each day. It's just a good, uh, a good little bonus uh, each week just to play some competitive hockey. The rank is so small, you have to be quick right off the start. You know, here it's all quickness, it's all explosiveness. Puck movement has got to be real quick. You can't really hold on to the puck for more than a half a second. It also works on your uh, in-type passing, just passing in small areas. That's something my coach told me to work on uh, when I go home in the summer. And I think three on three definitely helps that. Uh, passing in small areas, finding the open man real quick, and just having, being able to think the game and, and move at the same time is one of the hardest things. Now that I'm the older player and uh, I'm kind of helping out some of the younger players, I try to help them out as much as I can because I've had a lot of help. And some of these kids are just amazing talent, so even it helps my game playing with them. There was a few guys this summer where I was working on them all the time. Just to see them get better, just fulfilling for me, just to see that I helped that player out. And just seeing players go up to the next level and knowing that I had a part in that is really fulfilling.